What up you guys, Gabriel Ryder here in the Pro Shop. I am currently working, okay? Working hard or hardly working, I'll let you be the decider. Now, um, I don't work too often, Thursday, Friday afternoons. Give the course a call, Woods Valley Golf Club, say what up, and yeah, that's that. Anyways, I'm just on the computer. Okay, you guys, so this is the computer where I usually book tee times. This is kind of like my tee sheet, people's names, you know, how many players. Um, I might like, uh, let's see, that's a different day. I might like click maybe right here. And then I click this little cash symbol and cash them out, cash visa. You know, maybe sell them some range buckets or something. That's where I go um, right here. You know, click this, print, fill, swap in. And that's how you get a range bucket. So, anyways, I also might go on uh, Facebook when the uh, bosses aren't looking. And as you can see, I mean, add me uh, if you want. Gabriel Ryder, we can talk golf I'm at work, you know, try to chat it up. But as you can see, I have quite a few people wanting to talk and this is after I already deleted like eight of them you know I try to talk to as many people as I can but if I don't talk to you please do not hold it against me all right I have this only love for everybody out there in Facebook land YouTube land anybody who loves golf all right shout out to all my G's out there we got love for all you guys if I can't talk to you I'll talk to you sooner or later so yeah man hit me up on Facebook all right so this is the pro shop this is like my view of things and usually there's a customer standing right there and that's where I usually say okay sir it's $25 and with another $5 service tip fee it'll be $30 and they go what's a service tip fee and I go that's where I just tip myself for being me <laughs> okay so anyways I'm in the pro shop um, I am going to I'm going to try to do my best to do a what's in the bag video after I get off work. I got two new golf bags in, so maybe you guys can vote on which one you think I should put my clubs in. But yeah, I might give the other one away. I might not. I don't know. Okay. Maybe if you go at me on Facebook, you know, I might I might do it. You know, maybe if you subscribe to my channel, I might I might give away the bag. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. Not saying it's going to happen, but I'm saying there's a pretty good chance. Now, anyways, you guys, so I'm just working, kind of bored. Uh, I just did get swamped. At, at 3 o'clock, we do our super twilight rate, so it gets a little more busier. But this is the pro shop. Sometimes I'm on the computer, hit me up, and uh, I'll do my best to chat with you guys. But like I said, it's not good for me to get on Facebook when I'm working, because then someone comes in, I stop talking to you guys, so I feel bad. I do have love for all you guys, so if I don't get to some of your messages or comments, you know, just let me know. I got love for all my Gs out there, all my golfers. Um, yeah, so try to do what's in the bag soon. Stay tuned. All right, what up to all my G's out there? I see you guys hitting me up on Facebook, YouTube. Gabe, can you do another what's in the bag? So what am I doing? I'm giving you another what's in the bag, all right? Um, this is your boy Gabe, the best MC you'll ever see, and this is a what's in the B-A-G, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, um, here's my clubs right here. I got a couple new clubs, um, switched some out, trying some new things, and I'll just try to walk you through what clubs I have, what shafts, what grips, and what I keep in my bag that I that can help me during the round. So anyways, come on over here. Um, starting off with the R11 um, TP R11 driver, as you can see. Have it in the open position on the sole plate, um, the higher position on the FCT, so it's about one degree higher, so it's more like a 10. I like a higher ball flight. Um, my shaft is a 65X Fujikura Blur. So, I mean, nothing crazy. Um, right, we're gonna go on to another woods. Now, the last what's in the bag I did, I had a R11, okay? I switched that to a burner TP, um, 13 and a half degree, and the shaft is a HD7 X Flex. So, I've been liking it. This club, um, the reason I switched from my R11 is because it was going too high spinny, and it wasn't going much farther than my hybrid. So, I went to this. I like it, but it goes a little too far right for me, so I'm thinking about getting a 14 degree uh, R11 TP X shaft. So. I'll let you guys know how that goes. All right, so off to my hybrid. I got my uh, Rescue R11 to 18 degree. I got in the lower position, so about a degree lower, should be about 17 degree. And I got a 65S, one of my favorite clubs in the bag. Um, go straight basically almost every time, I love it. Uh, moving on, putter, pretty standard. I got about 34 inch Kia Ma, Rosa, Daytona, uh, milled face. Just pretty standard run of the mill, just like all the ping answered shape love it good good putter um, got the pink grip um, you'll see Tiger Woods he basically started this fad I love the grip so I've stuck in with stuck in with it irons now I go five through pitching wedge in the tailor-made MB now all right you guys please don't make fun of me okay I know it easy is it's easy to do but I have club head covers okay as you can see I mean it's it's a little girly a little wimpy but whatever you don't want to keep care of my clubs you know these are, I earned these, they're not given to me for free, so I want to take care of them. 
And if you actually notice, if, if you can actually see, there's a couple marks. And I was actually driving on the car with these things and my bag fell off. And if I didn't have these head covers on, there would have been some pretty good dings because my head covers got pretty scratched up. So, um, yeah, my um, TaylorMade MBs right there. Um, love these clubs, love the feel, um, love the workability of them. So, five through pitching wedge in these. I have a Dynamic Gold S300 shafts. Now, I heard Ben Hogan use Dynamic Golds, um, Tiger, Woods, Tiger Woods used Dynamic Golds, so I stuck them with them. Golf Pride uh, multi compound grips. Uh, I like the half cord in there, feels pretty good on my hands. So, talk to pitching wedge. Um, wedges, I'm going 52, 56, and 60 degree. Um, 6 degree bounce on my 60, 9 on my 52, and 12 on my 56. These are the conforming grooves, as you can see by the red uh, plates in each one of the wedges. Um, these are quarter inch apart. Um, these were about all the same length when I first got them in. Got them cut to a quarter inch apart. And also my four iron um, is a TaylorMade MC. A little more forgiveness with the long iron instead of getting an MB. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's basically my clubs. Um, onto my bag. As you can see, I have gloves, just kind of worn used gloves, just in case my hands get sweaty, hanging on my bag. I have this uh, hand dry thing, which is a little sandy, you know, in case my hands go sweaty. Um, I don't know if you guys ever have that problem, but usually in the summer here, my hands get really sweaty, so I try out different things. Um, from chalk to sand. Let me know if your hands ever get sweaty and what you guys do to uh, help uh, prevent slippage action, okay? Obviously, I have a little wire brush here. And probably one of my main things on my bag that I love is my Bushnell range finder. Um, basically, these things are supposed to be accurate within one yard. This isn't the slope the slope um, model because those aren't, used in, aren't allowed in tournaments, but I love this thing. It's just good to be exact with your yardages. Um, on to the pockets. Um, basically, in here, usually just keep my uh, Adidas sunglasses in case it gets bright out here. Using my buddy's Oakley's right now, fresh to death as he likes to say. So, usually keep some sunglasses for the bright sun here in SoCal. Um, usually keep my golf balls in here. I have a whole bunch of random golf balls here at the moment. Had some uh, Titleist. I have some random Callaway and a Penta, whatever I got. I'm um, kind of ran, running out on balls. Tees in here. Let's see. Anything else in particular? Got my ball, liner, marker, upper, whatever you call it. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much the standard stuff. I mean, I don't got anything too crazy in my bag. I keep some gloves in here. So, whatever, keep some gloves. Um, it's always good to have a nice loose grip on the club. If your hands start getting a little sweaty or gloves get worn out, you're going to start holding on to the club. It's going to cause tension and that was the number one ruiner of the golf swing. So I keep gloves, I keep my uh, phone, wallet, keys in here. So I mean, that's my bag. Uh, also, you guys, I got two new bags in, as you can see. This is the Taylor Made. Um, I think it's called like the TMX stand bag. I think it's pretty sick looking. Um, kind of a bigger stand bag. This one's kind of my outdated R9 Micro Lite. Still works. If you're using this bag, it's a good bag. Keep it. You don't need to, but uh, I got some good hookups, so I got a couple of new bags in here. Um, now, I want you guys to know which one do you guys think I should use. I have two bags. I might be giving one, one, one away. Depends if you guys subscribe to me, if I get lots of comments and likes. I could be gracious enough to give one of these bags away if you're one of my friends on Facebook. So, yep, got another Adidas bag here. A little white, a little black. Pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Um, like I said, you guys, I pay for all my clubs. I guess I have great discounts and hookups because I know guys in TaylorMade. But all that stuff's paid for. I mean, this stuff doesn't come easy. It took me a lot of years before I was able to get these connections. Um, my parents never bought one club for me. I used to get free clubs uh, from certain friends and pros. I used to just hit knockoffs or whatever. So it feels pretty cool to have my dream set right here. But uh, like I said, I'm 20 years old and this wasn't always the case. So. This is my new What's in the Bag edition. Hope you guys like it. Let me know which bag you guys think I should use. I might be giving away very soon. Hit me up on Facebook. Subscribe, comment, like. I do want to say thanks to all my supporters out there. You guys are the best. Thanks to all my G's, my golfsters, my guns and my clubs, and my bag is my hoster. You better hold up before you get shown up. All right, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here, too gangster for golf itself. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go do some practicing. Come on, I guess I'm just a misfit, huh? Yeah.
Gabriel Ryder here, just chilling at work like I usually am. Actually, I take that back. I'm usually not working too much. I work Thursday, Fridays afternoon. If you want, give the cor the course, give the c c c give the course a call. Never tell me what you do. Cause what up, you guys? Gabriel Ryder here, just at the course, working like I usually am. And I take that back. I'm usually not working here, but if I do work, it's Thursday, Friday afternoons. Give the course a call. Woods Valley Golf Club. Say what up. Help me get through the day. Hey, how's it going, Carlos? You're kind of interrupting my video. Hey, boy, you want some Doritos? I'm making a video right now. Don't Just act natural, okay? This is Carlos, one of our uh, on-course marshals here. Also a great player. Shoots about low 70s. Has a great looking swing. Now, Carlos, would you like to give any advice to any of the young, aspiring golfers out there? Any advice? I, I haven't eaten yet, so I can't think straight. All right. Eat first. And then eat first we'll minutes. get back to you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Carlos. All right. What up, you guys? Gaper Ryder here in the pro shop. I am currently working right now, working hard or hardly working all match.